All right, welcome back to Mr. Post Rain. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Paul, and today we're going to be talking about the Mr. Cool Mini Split System, and we're going to start installing this. So I self-built my own Barnuminium, which that's where I'm at right now, and we custom design Barnuminiums for people all over the country, as well as build custom Barnuminium. So one of the biggest things that we encounter with a Barnuminium where you have a slab is how do you handle the HVAC system? Uh, that's always an important part of the design that we like to know. So we're getting a lot of requests. Hey, what do you think of mini split systems uh, to cool my house? And mini split systems have really come a long way um, just in the last uh, couple of years. So I have two conventional HVAC systems that serve the downstairs and upstairs of my house. However, my business has grown I have a 40 by 56 garage, which I'm sitting in front of right now. Um, we have our storm shelter in it, which uh, some of you who've watched my uh, series, you know about the storm shelter that we lived in there. I have a canning kitchen, and now I have a design office in there. I'm not sure how long that'll be in there, but I need AC in there. I have in-floor heat in there for heating, um, but I've partnered with Mr. Cool, uh, and I'm gonna see how this system works for my uh, personal uh, needs. Now, the reason I like Mr. Cool and I uh, went to them is because they are a DIY friendly company. And for those of you who know me, even though I am a custom home builder right now, I am a DIY guy. That's where I came from. That's where my heart is. That's what our channel is all about, is helping all of you out there build your dream and the more money you can save doing stuff on your own, the better off it is. So we're going to go through this, the whole installation of this. Um, I'll give you my opinion on it, what I think. The unit that I'm using is a 48K condenser, and it's sitting behind me. So you can see it's got two fans. The thing that's awesome about this is I can have up to five heads on it. So in these boxes right here, I have three 9K units, and I have one 12K unit. Um, you can get on Mr. Cool's website, you can put all of your information in, um, the size of your rooms, how long you want your line sets, and they will send you all of the stuff that you need. So the line sets I've got, I knew where I wanted to put the heads, I measured it out, and I'm getting pre-charged line sets, so all I have to do is make the connection from the line set to the condenser behind me. These units also come with... The electrical connection is done inside with uh, your wire that runs back to the condenser where it pulls power from. So I am excited about that. They do recommend, obviously, having power run to your condenser. This uh, one behind me is going to take a 40 amp circuit. One thing you need to think about with uh, mini splits is the con condensation that comes off of them. The way these are designed is they have a tube that you run back with your line set with your power that you can hook up and bring outside. Um, I'm not sure I haven't opened these boxes yet, but I think what I'm going to try to do, I have drains in um, the locations or close to the locations where these are going to be. So I think I might run my drains down to an existing drain in the house uh, versus outside. Another cool thing about these is they act as heat pumps. So I can get additional heat out of these in the wintertime. I have inflow radiant heat in here, but my designers might uh, like to have some additional heat, which is awesome. One thing about that is when this condenser is acting as a heat pump. The condensation is going to be out here underneath. They also sent me the line set covers, uh, white ones. They match. Um, my siding it happens to be white, but you can paint them to match. Um, but you'll see that, so it looks nice and clean. Um, all of this is on the back side of my house, which is what I designed it. So you're not going to be able to see when you drive up and down the driveway, which I like. That is the introduction to this. Um, We're going to be installing right away i'm going to get the first head in our office which is over here to my right then behind me between these two windows i'm going to have another unit over to my left i'm going to have a unit where the canning kitchen is and then um, we're going to split off part of our garage and i'm going to have a unit in there so i can have part of that cool so i'm pretty pumped up about this let's go ahead and get into the install all right guys step one to mounting our indoor unit is to mount this mounting plate and with the Mr. Cool units you get this template 
pretty self-explanatory, this end up. You wanna make sure you mount it level. Now, I am mounting this in a post frame um, structure. So I needed to figure out where my eight foot on center column is so it doesn't interfere. Um, so I figured that out. It's about right here somewhere. So I'm gonna mount the unit over here in between the columns. Everywhere I have a row of screw is a girt. Um, that's a two by six that I can fasten this thing to. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark my location for my hole um, and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, we will get this thing mounted. All right, so I cut out the hole here, put a hole there, put a hole there so I can mark it. And then I used a laser level to get a perfect level. You can see there's one mark, there's the other, and then there's where my hole needs to be now. Um, if you look at this guy right here, This will get mounted like so. Problem is over here, I have a three quarter inch gap. So I'm gonna have to take a piece um, of wood and um, build that out so that this bracket has something solid um, to sit against. So we'll do that. Then we'll mount this plate, uh, drill our hole and keep on moving forward. through the outside and before I drilled all the way through I'm gonna go look out there to make sure I didn't like land um, on a rib or something um, I'm pretty sure I'm in a safe zone but I'm gonna go check just to be sure all right I went out there and checked and we are all good Got a hole cut through all of our spray foam insulation out through the outside. Now we'll go ahead, bend our pipe um, off of our unit. Um, we gotta put a sleeve in here. There's a little sleeve that you put in here to protect anything from here. And then when on the outside, I'll fill it with spray foam um, so it seals all that up. So here is your line set right here. This was actually laying down right here. So you just grab it right here and then slowly rotate it up so it's facing straight out. This is your condensation line. Um, that will go outside, it gets taped to the bottom. Um, and that'll all get hooked up on the outside of the house there. So I'm gonna get some uh, electrical tape, tape, lightly tape those together so they go through the hole nice and easy. And then we will get that through there. Another thing I have to do is I have to stick this through the hole, go outside, mark it, um, cut it off, and then that is what everything runs through. So I'll put that in there, fill this up around the outside between my hole and this uh, to seal it all up, and then put this cap on it, and it'll be good to go. And we also have our electrical line that's already pre-wired to the unit that will also uh, go through. All right, you can actually see that fits in there amazing. Nice secure fit. So now we can slide everything through mount our indoor uh, unit which is right there and then we can spray foam this full from the outside uh, that way that's all sealed up and air can't come back and forth bugs all that kind of stuff so i'm just going to use canned foam to fill this up um, but i'm going to get this all shoved through first 
and then we'll do it from the outside. Seal it up out there, put the cap on it, slide all our stuff through. This piece here, it's in like that. But before I put that on there, I'm going to put a bead of silicone around here, seal that on there. I'm going to push that on there, seal up against there. Now it's time to slide everything through. I'm not 100% sure how easy this is gonna be by myself. First thing I'm gonna do, get this started. I already got the unit mounted. Nice and level. You can see right up there is where all the lines go through. I'm gonna go from the outside and fill that with spray foam. And then once I get that done, I'll come back in here, kind of clean this up, and then I'll be done in here. So that wasn't too bad at all. One important thing is you want to make sure that your drain line is on the bottom. That way you know it's coming like down an angle. It'll bend down like so. You'll take your condensate down there. I'm going to leave this straight for right now. And I'm going to fill this hole with spray foam. You can just feel the cold air coming out of there. I'm gonna have to put you guys down so I can make sure I get the bottom of this all filled in. All right, so before I do anything else, I'm gonna make sure this all cures. Um, I have to take my son to football practice, so that'll be give me a good chance to just um, let that harden, make sure it's good and sealed. Then this line set, I'm gonna have to bend it down because I have all of this uh, line set covers to hide it in so i'm going to run it down the side i have to notch out my wainscoting come down and then i'll run it all the way across to my uh, condenser right there so i got white so it'll match the sides pretty good this is on the back side of the house which i always try to hide my utilities on the back side of the house you can see over here i have two AC units for the house, one for the downstairs, one for the upstairs. You see I have those line set covers right there. So it shouldn't look uh, too bad, but I can tell you so far that is pretty darn easy uh, to hook up. So these are pre-charged line sets too. So all I have to do is mount all of my um, covers, get it over here to my condenser, hook my line set in, and then wire it and what's cool is if i hook my line set i'm gonna hook my first one to a so right there you can see a you look up here and you can find where your a wires go so there's really not a whole lot of thing that has to go on um 
you have 1A, 2A, and 3A, and in your book it tells you which one goes to which, so you can make sure that you get the right, uh, right one to the right um, locations. And then this is going to be uh, the main breaker hookup, which I have to run that yet. I got my wire. So, in all honesty, um, in about an hour and a half, two hours of more work, um, the hardest part is going to be running that power line from the utility room through the attic and down here. I have four heads, so eventually I'll have all four hooked up to this, and uh, it's pretty exciting. All right, we got number two ready to go. This is our canning kitchen. I'm gonna mount it up there. It is gonna go into an inside wall, so I'll have to that's all the walls are open inside there, but I'm going to have to make an access plate so I can make sure I can um, check uh, the connections when I need to. So I'm going to run it down and out. Drain pipe is going to go into the drain system down here. So I have my bracket up there, got my hole drilled. Can unwind this cord. This is the power cord, so I will stick that through the hole first. And then I gotta pull this line set out. And it's as simple as holding your one hand here and pulling this up to a 90. Alright, so with this one, this is an inside wall, which is going to be uh, a little bit of a pain, but I do have a sump down in this. Um, below me is basically a 20 by 14 basement. I call it my storm shelter. It's a place to seek shelter. I'm going to run this down and out the eye joists to the outside. So, come down here. There's my hole, so I gotta run it down through here and out there.
All right, so we have, let's see, one, two, three out of our four um, air handlers mounted inside, and we've got line sets ran out for two of them. I guess all three of them. I have to extend that one from over there. Um, these two are actually on inside walls, so I will have to uh, deal with the condensation lines a little bit different. But the line set, uh, set comes with a, um, there's a gas and a liquid line, and they have caps on them. If you see, you have a gray cap and a blue cap. And so it's really easy, kind of, they're labeled and it's gray to gray, blue to blue. Um, so it's uh, pretty simple to do. Um, you want, if you have different size, BTU heads, which I do. I have one that's 12K or 12,000 BTUs, and then my other three are 9,000 BTUs. The manual says to mount the largest BTU heads at the bottom. So this is my 12K unit here. So I'll mount those to the bottom, and then this will be a nine, nine, and nine. So these here are called your king valves, and we'll go all, go through all this when we're hooking it all up. Um, I'm gonna finish spray foaming, and then um, I have to hook up these line sets to the heads inside first, and then I can hook them up here. All right, so here, this comes from the unit, and this is the line set going out to condenser. So blue cap to blue cap, gray cap to gray cap. So these are actually a little protective caps because there's little O-rings in there. So we'll take both those off, connect those, and you want to um, start by hand tightening these few threads and then you want to get your wrenches on there and then you got to move I mean don't freak out but you want to move efficiently because there is there will be a point where some gases can escape so as long as you move quickly it won't be an issue Now that we have that done, we're going to leave these exposed because once we get this all hooked up um, to our condenser, we'll do a leak test, make sure there's nothing leaking. Then I'll actually um, get the thing up and running and make sure nothing's leaking before I tape this all off, seal it up, strap it to the board so it can't move. All right, so another thing we have to do is here is the condensate line that comes off. Um, this, this, uh, I have two heads that are on exterior walls, which is ideal if your units are on the outside wall because then your pipes all go right outside. Your condensate lines go down, drain outside. This one right here is in our candy kitchen. This is a, you know, unfinished storage area. And so, um, I kind of planned this out. I have, on the other side is my sink drain. I have PBC coming out so I'll put in a trap and I'll run this uh, drain down into that but this is the supply drain um, tube that comes with it and all you have to do is push that on to the end of this and there's little ribs so that they um, will kind of interlock So that's that, and then I put that on there so that there's no way I can possibly forget to deal with this. All right, so I'll show you here. I have, on the other side of this wall is our canning kitchen, so I have a unit on an inside wall. And I thought about running all of this up through the attic, um, but this on the other side is just a storage room. So what I did is just brought it down through here. Um, I still have to tape all this up. And it runs down. And then I drilled holes through these two by sixes, foamed it in so that couldn't move. 
and then it goes out the wall right there. So that's how I handle this. And then my condensation tube comes down, goes over, and goes through the wall right there. And then on the other side is underneath our canning kitchen sink. So there's a trap there and these condensate lines go into that trap so that there's a place for the condensation to go. And then this one over here runs down and runs between the floor joists and pops out right where the condenser is. This is the unit that's in our office and it's on an exterior wall. So the line set from the indoor air handler pop out the side. So I just have to attach my line set there, run it over here to my condenser. So then I'll have three out of three connected and out here. Then I have to put all these um, line set covers on the side of the house and run them so it looks nice and tidy. So we're gonna get that done. And then um, we will start getting all this electrical stuff hooked up. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do so I'm going to go ahead, find this joint here, and extend my condensate line down. Alright guys, now that I got that done, I can take my line set covers and get all of the covers put on here, ran over here so everything can uh, be neat and tidy and clean. And then I will hook, uh, run my lines inside that, get them hooked up to the compressor, check um, everything for leaks, and then I got to run my, my main power from the breaker box to the condenser out here. All right, I'm getting my line set covers on, and I spray foamed this hole, but then I took this putty and filled like the last inch with this. So I have a really good seal here. And the last thing I'll do is I will take some silicone and go over the top of this. Um, we're gonna finish putting all the covers on this one. And then uh, this run will be done. coming out right behind got the line sets hooked up um, I don't have power to those I will tidy this all up right here once I'm all done I'm working on this one the first thing I got to do here is I mounted that top piece underneath I'm gonna use some sealing clay to seal that hole up and then we'll continue down of our four units hooked up to our condenser. So uh, that is enough that I can power this thing on. Um, I have at least, I think it says you have to have two thirds of the load hooked up in order um, to run it. So I have that, I have three, or I have two 9Ks and a 12K. So that's 18 and 12, so that's 30 of my 48k so that's that's right there um, 
So now what do I have to do is I have to run power from my breaker box. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap on today's show. There was so much information. We decided to make this three parts. So in the next video, we'll cover the electrical install. Uh, we will cover testing the units. And then I will give you my overall thoughts of the Mr. Cool system. I can tell you I'm pretty happy, but uh, we'll go through the whole thing, talk about it. Uh, so make sure you uh, come back for part three because that's the electrical. It's probably what a lot of people uh, will need the most help with. Um, but we appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, share us with your friends, and we'll catch you on the next video.